Hey guys, welcome. What was that? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to play Black Butterfly. Let's have a look at the Steam page, shall we? A terrible fire struck Centralia's commercial area in the early hours of Friday morning on December 4th, 1962. The underground began to catch fire mysteriously, consuming the city little by little and bringing evil to everyone who lived there. That noise is revolting. Some things I want to highlight here. Immersive graphics, AAA quality graphics, offer players more emotion in the game. Yeah, I don't believe that. Um, enemies, they are very unpredictable. They approach very quickly. Some may be stronger than others. Yes, that's pretty standard stuff. Experience, you can fight or run, but sometimes your only option is to defeat the enemy. So, you can fight or run, except when you can't, then you have to fight. Okay. Uh, yeah, this has pretty mixed reviews. I actually found a, um, Steam curator that specializes in bad games, and I was like, right, sign me up. I am going to jump in. Also, look at this. For graphics options. Skin weight. Four bones. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Dude, who knows? Play horror. Let's go. Yes. Centralia, 1962. After an incident in a coal mine or the subsoil of the small town started to catch fire, consuming a city and those who lived there make heaven ashes. And all I could see was an endless mist. The fire that burned the subsoil was never put out. It was like it was coming straight from hell. Isaac lived very happily with his wife Jill and son Carl. One day Isaac had a psychotic break, something I couldn't explain or control. Like, why don't you just give the player the option to toggle between Spanish or English rather than having both? That just looks awful. Overcome by an unknown evil, he brutally murdered his wife and son while sleeping. Using an axe in court, Isaac couldn't explain what happened. The only thing he said was, I was overcome by evil. Something very bad was within, within me, but it wasn't me. It's just the Amityville horror, I guess. After serving 15 years in prison, his freedom has arrived. Isaac was free to try to start his life over again. He then decides to return to his old home in the ghost town of Centralia, trying to find out what happened, what took over your body, and where did this evil come from, where something so sinister may have arisen. Just move on, dude. It's been 15 years. Your wife and kid are dead. Now is the time to pay for everything you did, face the evil that consumed you and made you kill your family, or just move move on, dude, honestly. Ain't gonna bring back your loved ones. Black Butterfly. Right, well, they're attempting to tell a story here, so that's commendable, sure. Black Butterfly, use headset. I am. Use phones de uvido. <laughs> well, you are very slow. If you aren't running. Do I care enough to read all of this? Yes, that's definitely a book. And another book. You can't even read them. What's the point of even interacting with them then? <laughs> Jeez. Love you very much, my son. Who, who are those people? Like, for real. <laughs> so is this this dude's family home? I missed that. Why am I shivering? What? Right, let's leave, I guess. Drag. Do you mean open? <laughs> the layout of this room is just mad. Why would the bed be there? There's just such wasted space. Like, what the hell? Spooky. Huh? Can't. Cannot. Like, what the hell am I doing here? What is this? Sardines in a can. Pashtet conserve. What? Why? Why even have interactable objects with no meaning? I guess we need this. Yes, that's a torch, all right. Why can't I pick it up? Surely that would be helpful. In a horror game, no? Nope. I'm stuck already. Examine. Examine all this pointless crap. For no reason. Look, can't read these. Just to show- Oh, here's a key. That's what we were looking for. Okay. You have found a door key. Great. Unlock. Drag. Whoa. Steady on, my dude. This is just going to be pixel hunting for items. To progress. Whoa. That's the impression I get. Getting some PT vibes right now. But there's no reason to examine anything. I have like a flashlight meter. Is it going down? I can't tell. It is. Right, okay, great. What are you? Piece of paper, great. 
Unable to read, I need the other part, okay? I don't care, I really don't... Huh? What? Was that me? What? <laughs> that was supposed to scare me, you failed. You just confused me. Mother of God. Uh, what? what? What do you mean use? No, that's perverted. <laughs> oh, is it? You're referring to the door, okay. Examine. Yes. Most certainly a pen. <laughs> What's the point? What are people like doing in horror games? I'm just looking at pointless mundane objects. Good lord. Drag. Can't. We're looking for a bit of paper. What's the meaning of the bar, the flashlight bar? Oh, I see. Wow, it really doesn't degrade very fast. I suppose that's a good thing. Take. Battery. Oh, okay. We, we need those. Going for Outlast vibes, I guess. Candles. Just unattended. That is a fire hazard. Almost certainly. Bath tub. I am already stuck. Already. What am I doing? Use. Oh. Examine. A syringe. Great. Pointless. More pointless books. No. Okay. Can I open any of these? No. There's no consistency. What the hell's going on? Is there a jump? You expect me to climb through that vent? Wow, that really was what they wanted me to do. What a racket. Do you mean zoom? What is that? Oh, of course, it's in here. Okay, back we go. All right, let's read it then, shall we? How do, how do I combine these? Oh, right. Poor man's Resident Evil 7. Whoops. Okay. Now we read, right? Dude, that's... You, you know what that looks like. That's not good. That's not good. How does that help me progress? It doesn't. All right, I guess we're going back in. Well, they really expect you to make this jump from here. I mean, you can do it. It's just... That's really, really bad. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's the pen. So was I supposed to... Just keep pressing on. I don't know how to move the boxes, though. That's the problem. A uh, herb. Oh, shameless. So how do I move this? Q? Nope. Space. Control. F. Nope. Guys. Ow. Am I supposed to go in here? Yes, there's a key. So how do I move this? All right, let me let me test this. Is there any way to pick up objects and manipulate them? All right, well, we're stuck then, I guess. Already. Can't hear the weather whatsoever, of course. Whatsoever. Flowers. I'm getting fed up. Can't examine the shampoo bowls. Need card. But where is it? Oh, what? Now it gives me a prompt to grab. You're having a laugh. Come on. Oh, but I can't move this one. It's only designated ones. Right. Good God. Okay, that's what we wanted. I swear that wasn't there. I don't know. It's like it spawned when I actually tried the door. I might be wrong. That was that was some bullshit. There we go. Ah ah. Mannequins and human remains. Doesn't appear that battery consumption is anything to worry about at all. What is this med kit? Need. What? How would I know? Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Here we go. What? What is that button? Three. We're looking for like a Y shape. Is that right? Three, zero. Was that right? 
Yeah. And then like a fork. And... Jesus, the controls. Three, zero, one, and seven. Is that right? We'll try that. Three, zero, one, seven. Yeah. Got it. Right. Awesome. Got a gun. Got a key. More books to examine. Who's just leaving books lying around? What? Right, you have no business consuming that much of my ammo. I'm sorry, my love. I had no choice. Sorry. What? Well, who is this? Look at her neck. His neck. I don't know. Who was that? This really is uh, Resi 7 on a shoestring budget. <laughs> oh, whoops. Drag. Could we not just have a press E to open feature, please? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no, no, no. I understand. So the flower is three. So the bone plus flower is... So the bone is eight. And that means the gun is four. But so what? Well, I know, th I know that, but how does that help the current situation? Huh? How does that bit of paper pertain to this? At all? What's in here? Use? I was going to climb in. Backpack is empty. Great, thanks for giving me the option. To examine something completely meaningless. Ah, uh, okay. So, bone is eight. Gun is four. So what? Got an arrow. It's pointing at what? Examine. Why wouldn't I just take it? Oh, I see. Flower, gun, bone. So it's three... Four, seven. No, three, four, eight. God, uh, the control scheme is a joke. Three, four, eight. Is that right? Yay! Examine. Rotate. I can't. Oh, here we go. Now what? I've unlocked it. Let me open it. Let me open it. How do I open it? I've unlocked it. Now you just need to open it. Good God. We are doomed. We are doomed. Whoa. Don't understand. Unless I'm supposed to... Is there a sweet spot? If I just mash buttons? Holy. Why can't I open it? Oh my God, that's so unintuitive. I dislike that a lot. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't make me do that again. Uh, okay. Oh, great. A head. <laughs> we got a head. Why, though? I don't know. Unless it's for this thing. What do you reckon? Context menu. There's no context for that, apparently. So, where do I go? That, that's... That ain't something you see every day for sure. Ooh. Get out of here. I would have thought that... Hold on. What? It's just open now. What? Because I have the head. Jesus. Take. Examine. Yes, that's most certainly an apple. Great. Okay, so we got a key. What doors are left to unlock? Oh, spooky, dude. Oh! Too much recoil. What do you want me to do? Oh, I've wasted so much ammo. Why did we spend all that time looking for a key to the place that we were just in moments ago? No, this is somewhere else. How did we get in there then? 
I don't understand. Who's crying? One chance. I guess if you mess it up, you die. Well, we have to look around a little bit until we find the the answer, I suppose. Layout of this place makes a no sense. Use. <laughs> of course. You died. You were wrong. Therefore, you die. Is it the one that looks like the barrels of the gun, maybe? No. Trial and error. Just keep trying until you get the right one. What even is this device? What does this do? Who designed this? Bloody hell. <laughs> Absolutely unnecessary. If it's like randomized, then I am doomed. I haven't seen anything that seems to give any kind of clue which one it is, unless I'm missing something. Should we look at the blood? Ah, uh, who's breathing? My torch is terrible. <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. <laughs> You're pathetic. Oh, what's the quick access to weapon? Right, I'll just shine a light in his face. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. Didn't seem to be a quick way to equip my gun. That's terrible. Or is it mouse wheel? Yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, that range is obnoxious. No way. No way. Don't buy it. How do we solve this? Oh, great. Here we go. Hunting for tins of fish again. Grab what? Why can I suddenly do this? What's the purpose of this? Have I always been able to do this? I don't think so. What? Uh, hold on. We should use this. Nice. Can't throw these books around though. Why not? What? The rules. There are none. There are none. Oh, don't tell me. Put the books back on the bookshelf. Am I really going to do that? I don't think that would even achieve anything. But it is odd that I can actually carry these books around. Like, why? <laughs> and why not other books? Yes, uh. Get in there. Great, perfect. That isn't going to do a damn thing. It is not. So, it is the shotgun puzzle. Seriously, we have six batteries. But there's no reason to have that feature if you're not going to balance it so that you at least have to be conscious of it. That's so ridiculous. Um, can't lift this. So the game decides what you are allowed to interact with based on whether it's relevant. It's not. A, it doesn't have any clearly defined rules. It's like you can pick this book up, but not this one. And you can interact with this crate, but not this one. And it's ridiculously annoying. And then you have a bullshit insta-kill puzzle. Retry. Okay, we will try every one. If it's randomized, we are doomed. Oh! Ah! Uh, just... Huh? Just pick the right one. Just trial and error. Terrible. Problem is... I think this dude's still alive here. Where's my gun? What? Mouse wheel doesn't work all of a sudden. Love how they use the cinema sins noise. <laughs> I know it's a stock effect, it's just amusing. Hey, there was a battery lying around. Not that it matters. Just hoarding them. More meat. More distorted meat. Who's moving the chairs? A crowbar. Don't care, honestly. Do not. Nope, no one's there. There we go. 
Notice how this door just opens and closes, but other doors require you to wiggle the mouse to simulate real movement. Again, it doesn't have any clearly defined rules. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Crazy. Who is crying? You? Right, well... Kind of creepy, sure. What? No! No. Okay. I, I didn't enjoy that. I did not like that, okay. What am I stuck on? What? Huh? Huh? Is that just a set piece or what? Oh. What? What am I doing? Oh. Manage your ammo. Use control to squat. <laughs> get those squats in, bro. How did I get here? An Uzi. <laughs> wow, we're going all in. With demon slaying. Whoa! Oh, of course. Got to reload it first. Jesus Christ. Hey, let's reload. What a racket. Ah. Uh... <laughs> what is going on? What was that? He was like windmilling. So heavy, dude. Right, I think we're, we're reaching my breaking point. What? Was I supposed to die there? Huh? What killed me? What killed me? Really? I have no ammo, but I have my guns. Why give me an Uzi and then take away all the ammo? We should heal. Please? No? Not allowed? Set piece does not allow for healing. Whoops. What is going on? It's bugged. I guess we aren't allowed to touch them. Let's test that. No, what? It's kind of... <laughs> what? Right, I think that's enough. Um, Let me know if you want me to push through and I'll do a follow-up video. Uh, Yeah, this game, uh, it's not great. It doesn't have any clearly defined rules. It's constantly breaking its own rules. They're not clear to the player, so you're like, what the hell... What the hell am I supposed to do? And I couldn't even tell you what's going on here with the insta-kill garbage. Who knows? Anyway, I'll tough it out. If you want to see more, do let me know down below. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you very, very soon. Bang your heads. See you later.